Like what in the world? How do you send a bombshell like Jay, even a Charlie, and send those lads? <laughs> what are they supposed to do now? Hey kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. It's Girl Royalty, back with another Love Island Season 8, Episode 26, I think review this is your first time you're so welcome please be a part of us by first hitting the subscribe button and second turning the post notification bell to not miss another video if you like this review somewhere at the middle beginning or the end please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much okay so the episode started off from where we left it the dumping so the public has decided who the most compatible couples are they chose Dami, Dia, Gemma, Luca, Ekinsu, Davide, Paige, Jax, and then we have three couples and of course six islanders that are at risk of being dumped. And so we were at the point where the girls were to decide which boy would be dumped and the boys were to decide which girl would be dumped. They got a text and they were to make their decision so they kept talking about it. They were just Basically, we spread about what they were going to do. At the end of the day, it was time to reveal who they had decided to dump. So the girls revealed that the girl, the guy that would be dumping was Charlie. It was kind of expected, so there wasn't any much reaction from the islanders. Like everybody knew, even the viewers, we, a lot of us knew it would be Charlie or Charlie. He didn't really. Mm, so yeah. And then Luca revealed that the girl that would be dumped tonight was Antigone. Oh my God! I literally said what. <laughs> My reaction was because I never expected it was going to be her. I honestly thought it was going to be Danica, but it was Antigone. I really, I'm happy it was not Danica because Danica deserved a chance. She has been struggling. Like, it's been a hostile journey for her. Even from the moment she entered, she didn't really get the reception. She got a little bit of heat from the girls. The guys were not wanting her. I'm like wondering, like somebody on Twitter was like, what is the matter? Is this something with her breath? Why are they rejecting her like that? So she, I like the fact that she gets a chance and now she gets to go to Castle more. Otherwise it could have been a brutal journey for her and it's not good for her mental state. So yeah, I mean, everybody deserves a chance. Nobody is worth staying than the other. Even though if you look at it by who has been grafting, Yes, Danica has been grafting really harder than Antigone, so yeah, she does deserve the chance. So when Luca made a statement, Paige was in her feelings, she was like, what? What is going on? I'm like, girl, that doesn't look good. You reacting like that does not look good for Danica, especially and Tasha. Do you mean you would have wanted them to go? And then she kept like, you know, making the mouth formation to Antigone, because Antigone was like, why? Like, girl, <laughs> if you ask, what am I going to ask? If not you, who then? Yeah, that's just life. Like, when we go through hard times, I would say, oh, God, why me? And God is like, if not you, who will it be? Your mom? <laughs> so, yeah. The, she was like, why? Paige was like, I'm sorry. I'm like, girl, it's not your fault. There's something to be sorry about. It's sad. We all like Antigone. And I'm going to miss her beautiful face on my screen. But it is what it is. So... She said she was surprised. She never expected, like, girl, I know she's friends with a lot of them. She's friends with Dami. She's friends with a lot of the guys. She's friends with almost everybody. She's a sweet person. I see she gives the friend vibes. But like Lucas said, it's at the end of the day, it's Love Island. And Danica has proven that she wants to be here. She's really tried with different guys. More than Antigone has let herself. So yeah, Dami explained to India what their thought process was. And Dami was feeling like he would have let Antigone down because he's close to her. And then India was like, it's not your fault. You had to do what you had to do. And also Luca did the same to us. And I totally respect the explanation. I buy into it and I agree with it. I mean, Danica deserves to be here and I'm really happy she's here. Tasha and Andrew talks about what happened they are happy they're saved they get the opportunity to be saved by the islanders and they're feeling like oh the islanders do see that they have a strong thing <laughs> every time they use the word we we have a strong thing we we are strong i'm like 
okay <laughs> sometimes you're like oh she's happy she's happy to be here even though she's saying she's happy her facial expression is giving me the vibe that she's not happy Tasha is bothered about something and I know she was gonna let it up soon and of course she did but before then she went to talk to Luca to say thank you can I give you a hug Luca is being hostile being stiff I mean and then Demo was like come on give the girl a hug she's just standing can I give you a hug like, oh my god people like Luca those are the type of people that would cheat so bad <laughs> you're being so righteous give the girl a hug it's just a hug and she gave him a hug to say thank you you know, although she didn't say thank you to the rest of the guys, I wonder why she thought Luca had the decision to pull her in <laughs> or had the power to pull her in. She was like, she's grateful to be here. And I'm like, look at like, oh yeah, 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 you, Andrew, you guys have a good thing, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, then it kind of gets the guys together, which I respect, I love that she did that. And she appreciate them for, for saving her, for keeping her, you know, with, with Tasha's, appreciation to Luca. It was not just her going to say thank you, it was her trying to get the guy's thought process as to why they saved them and she actually wanted to know because I'm like, uh-huh, I know something is bothering her. But just yeah, Auntie Gunny and Charles were sent away, they bid them farewell, goodbye. Everybody's feeling sad that they've gone. The boys even said when they first met Charles, they thought he was weird. You know, they're like, oh, but now he's rubbed off on them and they kind of miss him as weird as it sounds like why is it weird come on it's a human being and yeah the girls also feel like oh while they were changing to get to bed they miss and they go in this presence Paige is taking it a bit personal I'm like girl if you're acting like this you, you're like trying to say you wish Danica would have gone and I'm so glad the girls didn't have the power to send the girl home because they would have sent Danica home so I'm glad Danica is still here so it's bedtime everybody goes to bed Ekinsu and Devide holding hands in bed, you know, they, those two are cute. And Damian and India, of course, they always sleep close like a couple, every other person in their pot. In, it's morning time, the girls are getting ready. Davide decides to make Ekinsu coffee. I'm like, okay, this is a start in a good direction. Davide is gradually warming up to her. What are you, Ekin? I'm good, how are you? Oh. To celebrate today, we won. Thank you. Oh. As a couple. <laughs> So she decides to make him pancakes. She makes him breakfast. She was making the breakfast. What am I meant to say? That's so cute. Thank you, Eki. You're welcome. India was smiling, looking at her, and just admiring the two of them. Like literally, the islanders are just admiring Davin Sue. That's Eki Sue and every day they're just admiring them everybody's just admiring them they see them they smile they look at them the boys are like every day has fallen that is so into her that likes her but it's not letting off eventually tasha gets to talk to Paige. she's feeling sad she's crying oh my god she's gonna cry again girl she's crying like ah oh. I mean, she went off feeling happy. She went to bed feeling happy and like a bit confident, like she's grateful to be here. I mean, she's grateful because I'm like, just take the grateful part because you're still here. Someone had to go away. Antigone had to go away. If we, the viewers, had our choice, you and Andrew would be gone. So just be grateful. But no, she's not satisfied. I see Tasha as those girls, like daddy's girls or princess girls in the house that always get everything they want. And when they don't get what they want, or when they feel someone got something better, they always feel, uh-uh, because -uh, now she's feeling, oh, she's been at the bottom too twice. Someone has to be at the bottom too. It has nothing to do with you. You don't have control over this. It's how the viewers view the other islanders. You might be okay, but they like other people more. And you can't control that. You can force them to want you more, like you more. So I see her like those kind of girls who always have what they wanted. And I could understand giving her her condition, you know, with the hearing thing. So probably she was pampered. Because, I mean, I don't know about you, or but with my family, when you're sick, the parents, the family, everybody gives that person attention. Oh, what do you want to eat? Oh, do you want this? Do you want some popsicles? Do you want some cupcakes? They give you everything you want. So I get it if she got that attention considering her condition. They just thought... It was not fair that she was born deaf and they just showered her with so much love and they might have spoiled her in the process. I'm not sure. I'm just, 
I'm just making an assumption though. So yeah, I see her like that type of girl who if she doesn't get what she wants, she feels rattled. So she's rattled up and ruffled because she's at the bottom too. She's crying. People are like, oh no, no, don't see it that way. She even gets to talk to us that um Andrew does she and Andrew does have a good thing. She hopes that the viewers can see it. I'm like, girl, are you are you literally begging that we should see? That we should see that you guys have a strong thing. Ah, oh, don't do this, Tasha. Don't do this. The more you do that, the more the viewers want to run away. So don't do you're pretty girl. You're good. Like I told you, she do have some insecurities. She's she's the type of person that when somebody else is getting something better, she starts to look at what she has as something not good enough. Because now she's like, ah, oh, could it be that given what the islanders thought about me and Andrew and now the viewers thinking we're not compatible is making me think for real that we may not be compatible. I'm like, God, you just said you're falling in love with this man. So all of a sudden, because the viewers don't think you're compatible, you want to dish him away. Literally, I was like, this girl is looking for anything to dump Andrew's, <laughs> to dump Andrew's, <laughs> to dump Andrew away. She's just looking for anything to give him away right now. So at this point, I doubt how her customer more experience is going to be. So yeah, Davide was outside the sun tanning. Akinsu was passing by and then she goes back and steals a kiss. And Davide, Davide is smiling. He's blushing because he's enjoying all of this. Akinsu goes back and she starts to rub him some cream or massage him. Like, <laughs> honestly guys, it was giving me cringe vibes. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of cringe sweet vibes you get a mix it's cringe but it's sweet i'm like okay because it's cringe because i'm not i can't see akisu doing all of this prior to this time with the jay's appearance akisu was all about davide give me coffee in the morning davide i'm hungry she was all about davide serving her serving her so right now she has let down herself she's not like a beautiful humble new bride and she's just serving him and serving him it's beautiful i like it when women serve their men like treat them good i just serve and appreciate my man and treat him good but i mean it's just like uh -huh, she's doing too much at this point <laughs> but that day is he's totally enjoying it he's smiling he's blushing and then they went to the pool together they look so sweet they look so cute holding each other and just walking on the water and Eventually, he puts her out of the pool. I think she she fell back. She was actually expecting a kiss, hoping that David was going for the kiss. Luca and Gemma just on the other side, admiring them, smiling. Not the islanders, like, admiring and giving up, like, these guys are really a thing because we can see that they are a thing. Eventually, they've grown from their misunderstanding their altercation so they've grown from that into something beautiful david didn't give that kiss but ekisu is patient she's patient she's waiting for it i think he was shy but the boy said we know you falling you like her he's just smiling Paige and jax were talking and i think jax asked Paige about if she has been cheated on before i don't know why that kind of conversation and she didn't give an answer i was like anyway i know i think i know the answer like his response was like he knows she has been cheated on before and then she gave him the look and then he explains with the way she's on the urge on the guard it gives up the vibe that she's been cheated on before i'm like okay i don't know you all know how i feel about Jax, but him seeing this that i know that you've been cheated on before mm. i feel like he thinks less of Paige, which is like a red flag to me but i just hope i'm wrong when i doubt anyway so it's night time the girls were getting ready and then they get a text that they will be going out or a girl's night out they were excited or screaming the boys were wondering why they excited could it be another bombshell what's going on and then the girls came down and told them they'll be going out for a girl's night they were happy hugging their partner they were so bored and so lonely without the girls and then the girls got there. It was Casa Ramon. They were excited. They had a tour of the building. The place is actually beautiful. Really, really cool. And they were just like, wow. Paige was very, very excited. <laughs> Paige was very, very excited. She was like, cheers to being real. Like she's giving the vibe like, hey girls, I don't want no mm, judgmental attitude. Let's be free here. Let's enjoy this holiday. 
and she called it a holiday that they are here on a casserole holiday. The boys are lonely and wondering if the girls are going to come, if they should go to bed or wait for them. And Luca is hopeful. Oh no, they're coming. They're coming. <laughs> Luca's reaction like oh they're coming was like someone who just lost somebody and is grieving and still has the belief oh he's going to wake up or oh, she's going to wake up <laughs> so I got a text the six new boys will be coming into the Casamo Villa they were excited and the boy came in and they were like ah they're screaming and guess we were sure Jeff what was her already Gemma is giving the right like oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> If I found all the girls were excited. Tasha, of course, was ha ah, like Tasha, Tasha. But then they introduced us to the boys, and I'm like, what is this? Oh my god, what is this? Not another babies. Who are these babies? <laughs> I actually did an instant reaction after the episode. Who are these babies? They were 21, I mean 21, 22, 23. I think just one 25. I'm like, oh my god. I'm going to be frank and I'm going to be honest. Those guys are not doing it for me at all. How can you bring in a Davide, a Jay, a Dami, even a Charlie, a Jax, as OG boys, and then bring these lads as a castle of more boys to stir up things and cause a storm? How's that supposed to happen? At this point, this might be the first episode where everybody comes out single, including Danica. <laughs> but obviously, Danica would need to come with someone else. She will be done. But I'm totally not feeling these guys. And I doubt if these girls will. But the judge guy, you know, judge looks handsome, although he's young. He looks handsome. Not so much of body build going on, but... I mean, I don't know, but he looks good. He actually looks good. And like I said, not the producer sent three brown boys. Three brown boys. What are you guys trying to do to India? What are you guys trying to do? You want to cause the trouble? You want to cause problem for India and Damia? <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's where we are at. Well, I don't want to judge so much because I haven't met the boys. Maybe once I start to see them episode by episode, they might grow on me. Or I might see their futures. Like somewhere, somewhere like, oh, my cutest future is my look. I'm like, yo, yo, what? <laughs> That's a guy from Manchester, oh my God. And the other white boy, uh, he was so plain. To, I'm so sorry. I have nothing against them, but they, the production producers could have done better. They could have done better. And not the producers giving the boys those kind of girls. The new girls. Unfair. Justice for the OG girls. Justice for the girls. This is totally unfair what they did to the girls. Like, these girls are fire. Body wise, height, legs, butt, blue. Oh no. There's going to be problem. There is going to be problem on the island. But well, we will see on Sunday. So yeah, I think it was a great episode and it was a great love island week it was a great week great episode the producers have really been doing great they've been building on the momentum they've tried so far to not let it drop it was a shock that Antigone had to go but it is what it is i think it was a great episode you guys share your thoughts with the castle more boys what you think and uh, oh, tasha just share your thoughts on the episode and yes i have come to the end of this review if you got to this point please do like Subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Thank you so much. And you can follow me on my Instagram at Roti Cosmos. Yes, check me out. Follow me on Instagram and same on Twitter. Thank you so much, everybody. I will see you all on the next one. I probably might. I'm not sure. I'm not promising, but I might be putting some bits here and there of unseen bits. A quick video of unseen bits. So, yeah. Look out for that. Uh, no, don't look out for that because I'm not sure what I will try. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye. I want nobody but you. I want nobody.